It is Severe Weather Awareness Week. You hear that noise, Michigan, no stranger to tornadoes, and that is why the state held a voluntary tornado drill today. Yeah, back in August, Michigan recorded a total of seven twisters in one day. The damage devastating for thousands of homes and businesses. Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth is rewinding the clock, helping us learn some tips to stay safe in the future. Tornadoes. We closed the door, I locked it for the night, and that's when the windows got blew out, and then there was water just pouring in. They can form in a matter of minutes. And before I knew it, I was airborne. I went through the ceiling. In Southeast Michigan, we average about four tornadoes a year. Last year, we saw 10 of them, seven in one day alone. It's like when you watch a movie and you see it, like in a movie, and you think, oh, that's probably not like that. No, it's, it's like that. August 25th, tornadoes touched down in Canton, Fowlerville, Belleville, Ash Township, South Rockwood, Rockwood, and Gibraltar, ripping apart roofs, tearing up trees, and leaving behind a trail of destruction. Glass just peppered the whole house. Whether you're on the road, in your house, or out in the yard, it's crucial to take cover when you hear those sirens. Our question about tornadoes comes from a first grader at Lanigan Elementary School in Farmington Hills. Hi, I'm Lucy, first grader at Lanigan Elementary School, Farmington Hills. And my question is, how do tornadoes form? Good job, Lucy. Uh, tornadoes form often because of what we call wind shear. It's different winds at different directions. So the surface wind can be in a very different direction than winds at mid-levels and upper levels. What that does is create what we call a roll vortex. So it gets the wind kind of rolling along here, and then you know thunderstorms build up with height, and so it takes that horizontal roll and turns it into a vertical roll. And then as that strengthens and it stretches out, the bottom of the storm we call wall cloud comes down. That happens first, and if it's really intense, then you can get the funnel to come out of that and be even worse. If it doesn't get to the ground, it's a funnel cloud. If it does, it is a tornado. So that's how they form different winds in different directions throughout different depths of the atmosphere. In terms of safety, it's really important to get inside a sturdy house or a building. If it's your home, here are the best places to be. Small rooms with way more wall space than ceiling space, like closets, bathrooms, hallways, or stairs. You want to stay away from the windows and the outside doors. Cover yourself if you're in imminent danger with a blanket or a mattress or pillows to try and stay as safe as possible and always. Always the best basement is the best place to be in case something did break or come in. It would blow over the top of you rather than hit you with those higher speeds. In southeast Michigan, we usually get EF zeros to EF twos. That's 85 to 135 miles an hour, but EF fives can go over 200 miles an hour. We've only had two of those in the state of Michigan. That's really nasty.